Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can use the echo command in PHP to write HTML from inside of your PHP code. So this is going to be kind of cool. Now, in the last tutorial, I showed you guys this very basic PHP command called echo. And we basically just typed out echo in open and close parentheses and open and close quotation mark. And then we typed out hello world. And then finally, we ended this off with a semicolon. And when I, was, when I went over here and refreshed my browser, we saw that hello world showed up over here. And that's kind of just like a super basic line of code. So I'm gonna actually show you guys um, sort of what this does and we're gonna break it down. So echo is basically a command in PHP, which allows us to write information out onto the HTML document. So if I was to come over here and I viewed the page source of this HTML document, you'll see over here that we're actually printing out hello world inside of the actual document. So when I came over here and I said echo hello world, this line of text got printed out inside of our HTML file. And that's basically what that echo command does is it, al it allows us to write HTML out to our HTML files. And that's kind of cool. So basically the way the echo command works is I just say echo and I can put these open and close parentheses and then I can just basically type out whatever HTML I want to put onto the screen. And then after this line of code, I'm going to put this semicolon and that semicolon is actually really important. Anytime we write a line of code in PHP, we want to make sure that we include that semicolon. And actually with this echo command, if I wanted, I could get rid of these um, parentheses and you could just leave it like this. So I could either use it like this or I could use it with parentheses around it. So I'm gonna show you guys some cool stuff we can do with this echo command. In addition to just typing out regular text, I could also type out HTML code inside of these quotation marks. So for example, let's say I wanted to print out a header for my website. I could go in here and just type out H1 and I could say like Mike's site and then I could end off this H1. And now when I run my um, website over here, when I refresh the page, you'll see that this is actually getting rendered as an H1. And if we came over here and refreshed this uh, source, you'll see that an H1 is actually getting put onto the page over here. So not only was I typing out text, but I was also typing out HTML. And that's one of the cool things about this echo command is essentially inside of these quotation marks, I could put any valid HTML that I want and it'll actually get rendered over there on the browser. So this is really cool. And if I wanted, I could just like make another one of these. So we could come down here and we could say echo and now I could make like a paragraph, for example. So I could say like, this is my site and we'll end this off. And actually if I wanted, I could also put like a horizontal rule here. So I could say like, HR. And then I also want to remember anytime I write out a line of code in PHP, I always want to put this semicolon here. So I'm going to put a semicolon there and a semicolon there. And that basically just tells PHP like, Hey, we're done writing this line of code. And now we're going to write another line of code. So now when I head over to my web browser, you guys will see that we're actually getting this little website. So it says like Mike site, we have the horizontal rule. And then it says, this is my site. So from inside that PHP code, we're actually able to write out an entire website. And if I wanted, I could, you know, include as much text or as much HTML in here as possible. And this is something that's going to come in handy when we're using PHP. And as we go forward in this course, anytime I want to like print something out or show you guys something, I'm going to be using this echo command to do it. And so real quick, I also want to just talk to you guys about how this code gets executed. So whenever we um, request, this website over here. So for example, whenever I like refresh this web page, essentially what's happening is the little web server that we set up is going to serve this page. So you'll see over here when I refresh the page, it comes over here and it's basically saying like um, www forward slash site dot PHP. So this web server is actually serving up this PHP page to us. And whenever we refresh that page over there, this PHP code is going to get executed by that web server. So when I click the refresh button over here, or when I navigate to this website, this web server is actually going to come down here and it's going to go into these PHP blocks and it's going to execute all of the PHP code that's inside of here. So when I request the page or when I refresh the page, all this code for our website is actually getting rendered. So the PHP code is going to get executed. And then this code is basically just going to get placed into the file. 
and then we'll have our finished HTML file. And that's kind of how it works. And whenever we specify these PHP instructions over here, they're gonna get executed in order. So you'll notice that on my website, it says Mike's site, then the horizontal rule, then the paragraph. And that's because that's the order that I specify these instructions. If I was to take this line and I moved it up here above the header one, now this is gonna show up first. And that's because PHP is going to execute these instructions in order. So it's gonna execute this instruction, then this instruction, then this instruction. And so over here on our website, you'll see now that this paragraph is actually showing up above this header one. And that's because we changed the order of the code. So this is really just like the bare basics of PHP. Basically any of the PHP that we put in here, when the user requests this web page, so when the user requests site.php, this PHP code is gonna get executed and this file is gonna get put together. So it's basically going to render the PHP file that we see over here on the browser with all of these HTML tags. And then we'll be able to see like the finished product. So that's sort of the basics. And you'll see down here, we're, we're just using these simple instructions. So I'm using this echo instruction, but as we go through this course, we're gonna learn more and more complex instructions, which are gonna allow us to do more and more complex things. So I'm really excited to show you guys some more stuff we can do in PHP. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking into another way that we can leverage the power of PHP on our website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.